Hey guys, it's your boy Fiscon here with another video on the issue council, and today is going to be interesting if we can reproduce it. Uh, components duplicated when pulled from apps and vehicle is today's issue. So when we read the directions, it says using your Mobi Glass, pick a component from a vehicle docked at another station and assign it to your current vehicle. Key here is that your vehicle, the other vehicle, the one you pull from, needs to be docked at another station. So not where it's like you claim it and it's blank, it's where it says Pisces docked at Port Alisar and you're on Microtech, you know, something like that. Use your vehicle and dock it. Use your vehicle and dock it. Hmm. So by dock, does he mean just sit on the pad or store? Because here docked means, in this case, he's implying that docked means stored in, in the station. But here, does he mean use your vehicle and dock it as in like, park or does he mean stored in the new station use your vehicle and dock it the ship you strip the component from will show empty after you apply changes okay that makes sense claim insurance on the vehicle with the missing component note you cannot put the swapped component in a stored vehicle before claiming it okay so this sentence leads me to believe that he just wants us on the landing pad we'll try that first all right we'll see you guys in the next part all right so based on my understanding when a ship is stored you can modify the parts on it right and the anvil hornet here shares parts in common with the pisces or at least part sizes so based off what the report said we need to use your vehicle and dock it So what we're going to do is pull it out, use it, and then request landing and see if we'll be able to edit what goes on the ship from there. All right, so landing's complete. Let's see if we can go ahead and go into the vehicle that I'm manager now. Okay, so it's still locked, and just to double check. Yeah, we can't do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and get out and wait for it to store on the station and see if we can modify it there. Okay, so I have no idea what's going on anymore. Um, <laughs> So I went to, all right, where to begin? So when I look at the ship retrieval menu, right? A few things I, I realized later on, right? So I got my Anvil Carrick I pulled out and I landed here. It shows up as unknown at Port Tressler. I have the Anvil Hornet. This is actually sitting on the pad right now, which is why it says claim versus retrieve. Then we have the Super Hornet stored at Everest Harbor, but it's on claim because it's not at this station. We have the Pisces stored at Port Olisar, well, unknown at Port Olisar for the claim. So this one's here, and this duplicate Super Hornet is supposedly, well, actually that's nowhere, and that's got no location. And then this one's destroyed here. No biggie, right? Not a big deal, you know? I got an Anvil Pisces, a Carrick, a Hornet, two super hornets apparently and a freelancer right no biggie so throughout this entire attempt I was looking through my vehicle loadout manager trying to like figure out which ships to do I noticed that the anvil hornet has the same oh I can't show you this one hold on we'll go to the duplicate if I go to the propulsion you can see that the expedition which is what the Pisces uses can be used on the Hornet so I was like we'll pull out a Hornet we'll do it with the Hornet I'm waiting for the other Hornet to store but I click on the expedition because then you can pull it and now it's saying 
I have a quantum drive on an Anvil C8X Pisces edition, another Pisces, and another Pisces. One, I don't have a Pisces C8 Expedition. C8X, yeah. I don't have one of these. I don't have two of these. I missed well, my best assumption here as to how this happened is a friend of mine stored his C8X in my Carrick and I stored my Carrick. That's the only thing I can think of. Like, I don't know how I duplicated these, these quantum drives that don't exist. Because as you can see in the drop down menu, I don't have any of those. I only have one. I only have one, guys. I am so lost in the sauce right now. Whew. Okay. Here is the current situation. We have the Pisces in an unknown status at Port Olisar. We can't modify things on it. Take note of that. And then we have the Anvil Hordent, which I pulled out and stored at Port Tressler by spawning in the Super Hornet because I couldn't wait. And if we go over to the Quantum Drive, we hit Expedition, we have a plethora of options to steal it from. The way we're going to check is by going back and seeing if the Quantum Drive is still equipped. So we're just going to go with the first one. You know, who knows? Save changes. I'm assuming that actually modified it. Let's pull that back up. Watch me crash the desktop right here, right now. <laughs> so it's still equipped. Let's go to the Pisces. This Pisces is still equipped. Okay. Now I have four. <laughs> okay. And it didn't de equip any of them. And it rearranged the order. Why does it say one is available? Is it because I de equipped? Okay, now it's four. Am I going crazy? I swear to God that said three a second ago. Okay, okay, here we go. So the quantum drive is empty. We may have already duped it on accident, but the quantum drive here is empty. So all you need to do is have one ship. Actually, we'll recap at the end. We'll recap at the end once we confirm it works. Now the next step is to claim that ship. Let me double check. I don't remember hitting save. I shouldn't have had to, but just want to double check that propulsion is not there. Yep, and according to this, we have five. We have four. We have four expedition propulsion systems. Now we claim this. File a claim. And I will see you guys in a minute. All right, with that, our Pisces is stored. I don't believe we have to call it. I don't, let's double check, let's check. Claim insurance on the vehicle with the missing component. No, you cannot put the swap component in a stored vehicle for claiming it. Yeah, seems fine. Okay, so F1, vehicle loadout. We'll go to the Hornet first and look at propulsion. So there's one available. I know we had four total before, so there's definitely an additional. I don't know why it says available. Okay, that worked. <laughs> Oh man, this was one confusing one for me, I tell you what. Alright guys, let's hit up their recap. So the way I understand this glitch to work is you'll take a ship and you'll store it at another station. And then you'll leave there with probably another ship, particularly one that you want to swap the part onto. So in this case we did a Pisces and a Hornet, so I would take the Pisces to Port Olisar. I would land there. I would spawn the Hornet, I would get in the Hornet, and I would fly to another station. Once I'm at that station, I would wait for my ship to store, and then I would pull up the Moby Glass. I would go into the Hornet, not the ship that I left behind, but the new one. I would go to the part I want to switch out, and I would pull it from the Pisces. And then from there I would save changes. I would check that it came off the actual Pisces. And once I've confirmed that it came off the Pisces, I would then claim the Pisces. 
and upon it being retrievable, so once the claim is over, you'll notice that the part's back. And that, that was quite complicated to figure out, I tell you what, mainly because we had some other shit going on, like we duped one without even trying, and I can't even begin to think of why. But you know, as always, if you're able to reproduce this glitch, please go to the issue council. Please drop a reproduction, and let's hope we can get these problems fixed. And if you and if you stayed this long, thanks for staying. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. See you guys next time.